Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition brain messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what it what is it that you need to know about your love interest. So let's find out. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages? In regards to the person that is connected to my lovely Capricorns and love. What does Capricorn need to know about this person that is connected to them at this time? What is happening in real time with the person connected to Capricorn? Thank you. What two messages want to come through from the person that is connected to Capricorn? Wow. Um, hmm, interesting. Now, I asked for two, but they gave me many. <laughs> we'll go ahead and take it, okay? So, the card that actually showed up is making the effort. Great love is worth the steps you're guided to take. So, whoever this person is, they know that they need to make an effort towards you, Capricorn, at this time. Let's see. We also have a new love, a new person has stirred the romantic feelings. Okay, so this came up in reverse. So I have a feeling like this is an old person, okay, that would like to have a new love connection with you. Also, we have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I have a feeling like your person was, was closed off or blocked off in regards to revealing how passionate that they were. And they're asking you to trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's in reverse. So um, I have a feeling that your person is coming out of hiding. So there is a particular person that I feel that you have been in no communication with, Cap. Okay. Um, they were really suppressing how they were feeling. This uh, burning desire. This passion that they have with you. This is someone that you already know. Okay. Or maybe you've crossed paths with this particular person. And maybe you are not. And awareness that there were those feelings. Now, this person is coming out of hiding. Okay. So you may hear from them, but I definitely feel like there was a period of separation between you and this particular person. They definitely want to make the effort. Now, if it wasn't a long period, maybe you had like a little hiatus where you guys stopped talking. I have a feeling that particular person is coming back. So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please clarify the energies of the person connected to Capricorns in love? What can you reveal to me about this person's energy? Thank you. Please give us clarity and insight with this person's subconscious when it comes to Capricorn. Let's see. Clarify making that effort. Yeah, we have trust. It is safe to trust in a situation. So subconsciously, your person is trusting that, you know, by by them making the effort to come forward towards you, it could be successful. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to know about this person's subconscious energy towards a sign of Capricorn? Anything else that we need to know? Okay. 
So we have obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Also, we have forgiveness in reverse. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. And also we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. So automatically what I'm sensing is that there is a particular person that is in your past. Um, they're actually definitely coming out of hiding. Okay. They definitely want to make the effort. They need to trust in themselves. The reason why they're, be they're being held back is because of finances and because of certain obstacles. Now, everyone's obstacles are a little bit different, but specifically, it is unhealed wounds that is blocking them from coming forward. So what is the hurt that they need to really focus on uh, and heal so that they can make that approach towards you? That's why we have here forgiveness, and it's actually in reverse. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. I have a feeling like they haven't really forgiven themselves for by how they treated you, okay, with whatever situation that you were kind of left in. And um, they could have done something that was, you know, maybe, you know, they didn't explain themselves. Maybe they ghosted you. Uh, maybe for some, they just turned their back away from you, Cap. Whatever the case is, okay, your person, realistically, they really want to open up, okay, they're kind of hurt and it's really up to you if you find it in your heart of hearts to forgive this person okay that is only if this person makes the effort because this is the overall energy of your person they're learning to trust that if they do make the effort to approach you then um it is only going to bring healing okay and the connection here between the two of you so let's go ahead and see what else Actually, not that one, this one. <laughs> and two of these don't belong. Okay, I'll have to find the other deck. All right. All right. So, Spirit, can you please reveal to me the energy and vibration of this person connected to Capricorns in love? What do we need to know about this person? Who is connected to Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? How they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? All right, so we have here the High Priestess, and it's in reverse now. I'm not exactly sure if I could just move this here so that it's a little bit more center okay their intuition is blocked okay they have no idea how they can open up themselves and they are actually isolating themselves to be with you because why they feel unwanted now the reason why they're feeling unwanted is possibly because of something that they've done towards you okay so they know that they need to make the effort to either make an apology or uh, to really open up emotionally so that they could feel the feelings um, that they have and and really be genuine and come in with a level of authenticity about this forgiveness okay and that's what i'm hearing also they are learning from the past they're definitely healing so your person is really hurt okay that is what i'm seeing and um we have independence so we have nine of pentacles energy so if your person is um in some sort of connection with another individual i see that they're working on their finances alone okay whether or not they are with a particular person or not i see that this person is kind of solo okay the goal for your individual is to achieve wealth and financial security because I saw that, you know, we have financial challenges are affecting the connections. So they're working on improving themselves and their uh, physical security. Now, for some, you're dealing with a, a water sign and they want to come in wise. They want to share their thoughts, their feelings with you. Um, Maybe they want to devote themselves and offer you marriage, and that's for some. This person wants to offer you a sense of loyalty, and they definitely want to work on this connection, okay? For some, you've known this person for about three years, or maybe it's been three years since they've made an effort, because mind you, your person is finally making the effort, and they're asking you to trust in this situation, 
So I have a feeling like it's been some time and they're feeling hopeless. Maybe a lot of time has passed and um, they don't know if you're going to be open to the idea of them wanting to work on this relationship or connection with you because of the lies and maybe the deception. I have a feeling like maybe your person was open towards other people or situations of their past. Uh, maybe they were spying uh, on you to see what you're up to. But the other thing I'm also hearing is that your person could have been a cheater, okay? Maybe they were with a karmic and also with you at some point. So that kind of tells me that in, in the distant past or maybe recent past, whatever your timing element is, you know, they just weren't ready for you, Capricorn. And that's what I keep hearing, you know. And again, it was because their intuition was blocked. They weren't really accessing their higher self or, you know, really seeing things or being awakened to their connection with you. Now, I see that they are resisting, you know, trying to make the same mistake over and over. So you may experience that your person is reluctant to contact you. But I see that they're coming up with some sort of idea. Uh, to offer you the truth, to to really come in with clarity. And this is about accepting whatever has happened and letting go of whatever the situationship was. And I see that also, they're really thinking. So your person is thinking a lot these days. They are wanting a commitment. They want to dedicate themselves to something that is going to last for a long time. And I see that, you know, they were holding on to other situations because of money. Now, the biggest factor in your person here is money. Okay. The money or this financial security is actually the detriment of your person from really connecting with you and perhaps they're associating their financial aspect and that has become a blockage or an obstacle in really uh, being with you. But I know my Capricorns. Capricorns, you're a very hard worker. And if anything, you would be the person uh, to be like the breadwinner, if you will. Okay. Um, so if your person feels as if they were uh, subpar or feeling like, you know, there were feelings of lack or not feeling like they were good enough because you were more superior than they were in terms of work or in terms of finances, that could be another reason why, you know, that this person wasn't really approaching you. Possibly because they, they see you that you're doing much better than they are and they don't want to come in feeling like they're are not good enough. Okay. That's another thing that I'm also sensing. Now, I have a feeling also that um, if your person was in some sort of relationship, they're not happy in. Okay. There is a separation that I see and also a divorce. So again, if your person is in some sort of marital situation, I definitely see that they're going through it. They're single. Okay. They actually free themselves for some they're, they're not happy in their house, okay? And they definitely want to have a new beginning here. So they're finally free. And maybe this person is free enough to travel, especially if they're at a distance from you. They definitely want to have a new beginning. They really see that you are this wheel of fortune. So this is destined. This is a destined connection. This is good luck and karma, okay? And I really feel like it's positive karma. And in the past, they, they came off rude, and and bitter okay maybe they're abusing their um situation to only benefit themselves and they want to open up they feel guilty because of that so i have a feeling okay your person is going to make the effort they're asking you to you know trust in what they have to say and it might be difficult for your person to really come in with their truth but i really feel like for whatever reason, they have the uh, the courage to speak their truth towards you about the reasons why they left you. Okay, it could have been for materialistic reasons because, um, generally speaking, that's what I'm seeing, and um, they're a bit rude and a bit impulsive. You could be dealing with a fire sign for some. You know, they feel guilty for being that way towards you and they apologize. Okay. That is what I'm hearing hearing. And um these unhealed wounds, okay, it could have been like attachment towards feelings of lack, you know, because of financial circumstance, or because, you know, they were caught up in another karmic relationship. And that is another reason why they couldn't really open up towards you. So again, I see you're an emperor, you could be dealing with an Aries. 
Okay, so this person could be a father, could be a mother, but I see that they're、uh, wanting to be protective, and so they're taking it slow, but they're making plans. And for the past couple of years, they haven't really been balanced, and now、um, they want to walk away from the situation. So it feels as if you know they felt guilty for leaving a karmic, and it felt like they were abandoning them,、uh, and. Again, there was that situation dealing with the whole money aspect. Okay, there are reasons why they actually held themselves back in that relationship with a karmic. But now they're walking away and they're finally letting go. So this is what I'm seeing. Okay, now we have here a King of Swords, and so you could be dealing with an Air sign. They are coming in with morals and ethics, and they are coming in with their intelligence. Okay, this person has matured. So this person is definitely changed. Okay, and they want to come in with respect. So let's see what else, because right now, what I'm seeing is that things are a little bit muddled、uh, in their headspace, but they know what they want. It's just a point of how are they going to make this effort? Okay, they need to trust in themselves that you know everything is going to be okay if they were to make this effort when it comes to you. So. So they're thinking, okay, they're tempted by the whole material aspect of what they're used to, and also this is your card, okay, the devil.、Um, they are tempted by you. They're thinking a lot about you, and their thoughts are is that they're feeling insecure because for the longest time they were caught up in materialistic relationships and they lack the confidence. So everything that I said earlier on is actually showing up in their headspace. Okay, now again, here is this. Water sign. Okay, they could have water in their chart, but this person is coming in with romantic feelings and、uh, very charming. Okay, they want to kiss you, hold you, taste you, lick you, whatever this is, right?、Um, they miss you. Okay, Th that's what I'm hearing and feeling. So, how do they feel? Wow! So we have here a King of Pentacles. So you could be done with an Earth sign.、Um, they really feel that they need to come in successful and wealthy to show up that they are a divine match or a counterpart for you. Because Capricorn, you know,、um, who can actually match your energy? And、um, I'm really feeling like it would be another Earth sign, someone who could be relatable to you. Okay, or it could be your opposite. You know, take it as it resonates. Now I see that this is a soulmate, and they want to make a choice, but they're really conflicted about how to do this. So, what is their intent? Their intent is to make a decision, and I see that they can't make up their mind. They're a little bit clueless, but、um, what they do want is they want you know to be in abundance. You know, they want to have great sex, from what I can see, and. I also see that you know they want to be recognized. So, again, some of these feelings could stem from like earlier on in their childhood, and、um, they could be feeling like these obstacles because of their finances. So, their finances equate to how successful their relationship could be. Now, I don't know if your person is opinionated and you know what they think about you, Capricorn, in terms of success. But this is how they're feeling, okay, and this is how they know themselves, okay, and how they could be relatable to you, or how how you would actually view them in their eyes. At least that's what they're thinking from their perspective, and in the outcome. Okay, so again, they're kind of blocked up, and I see that they want to move on from this stuck feeling. This person wants to dedicate their entire life with you. Okay, I see here ten of pentacles. They see you as like retiring with you, going on vacations, maybe having a house together,、um, traveling. You know, especially by water. I hear、uh, here and see.、Um, also, they want long term stability. This person is really thinking about how they look sitting next to you or laying next to you in bed. That is what I'm getting. So there is a very significant person that is thinking of you, Cap. Okay.、Um, before in the past, they had a strings attached relationship,、um, and that's not what they want. They want 
true security and a relationship with you. Okay, you're different than whoever that they're used to um, in terms of relationships and um, they feel defeated and they know they need to change. Okay, they're really heartbroken over whatever this third party situation that got in the way between the two of you. So they definitely want a partnership for some. I mean, they have a motorcycle and they could be, you know, uh, visiting you within two months. Okay, uh, I'm getting a strong two, two month period where this person is actually going to resurface because they're coming out of a retreat. And right now they're taking the time to reflect on the things that they need to let go in order for them to really open themselves up and be honest with you. You know, for once, this person is is being vulnerable, and that was the obstacle. Maybe this person has a hard time of being vulnerable with you, Capricorn. Okay, um, they were blocking themselves from unhealed wounds, and you wouldn't hurt this person. But I feel that now your person is coming to awareness that you can be trusted. You know, you're someone that they can trust. You're reliable. You're dependable, and um, you know, you're a goal getter. I mean. You know, and this person admires your your uh, tenacity to uh, work on those things. You know, and I have a feeling like you know, um, you know, you are everything that they want within themselves, and they see a reflection of themselves uh, with you. Okay, so I really feel like for some, this is your your divine counterpart. So let's go ahead and see how are they feeling towards you. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know about this person's feelings towards you at this moment? Okay, in this real time, as Capricorn is watching this reading, okay, this isn't a past energy, this is right now. Okay, how is your person thinking and feeling towards you? How are they feeling towards you at this time? Spirit, please reveal to me their feelings towards Capricorn in this present moment. What can you feel to me? We have rage. All of the anger I hold back is burning me up from the inside. So your person is angry. Now, mind you, I don't feel like they're angry at you. They're angry at maybe something that happened to them in their childhood. And it's kind of ironic. I actually did a regression therapy session prior to doing this reading. And everything that I, I was sensing within myself is actually coming up in this reading. It's, it's really strange and ironic how everything is interconnected right so with this rage okay there's something pent up in your person without your knowing this doesn't have anything to do with you this is with your person within themselves now your person has to really uh figure out where is this anger okay where is it coming from where where did it originate okay and i really feel like your person could really benefit from addressing those issues okay so also we have sexual let's play now they need some sexual tension like they need to release some of that <laughs> you know like every corn um who is this you know also we have freedom i'm ready to break free so very soon and if they haven't already because i really did see that your person broke free from a karmic relationship they're ready to break free and also we have desire i miss the way you taste those soft lips on my face your warm embrace everything you gave desire this person desires to be with you okay and i felt that in the very beginning like they want to taste you touch you feel you okay um everything right that's what i'm seeing so let's go ahead and see what is the guidance that you need to know at this time so spirit can you please reveal to me a clear message in regards to the person connected to capricorn what does capricorn need to release so if this reading has resonated with you and you like this reading make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching so let's see capricorn what do you need to know what does spirit want you to know about this person how can you overcome this energy what is it that you need to know about this person what is going to be helpful to capricorn or the cross watcher who is watching thank you look at this we have surrender to non-action 
Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power and let others come to you. This is this is a whole wrap up, right? Because in the very beginning, your person knows that they have to trust in themselves to make the effort. This has everything to do with their healing, their personal growth, their spiritual growth. Okay. If this person really wants you, they will come for you. And I really feel like this is a destined partner. You, you actually help your person to get out of their comfort zone to overcome their fears of contacting you. Okay. That is what I'm seeing. So you don't need to do anything cap. Okay, there is a person who is waiting to reach out and touch someone, if you will, right? And and look, they want to kiss you, taste you, hold you. You smell sweet, you know. Um, you bring out like this childlike innocence in this particular person. So that's what I'm seeing. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my personal readings are on sale until the 15th. So if you're interested in booking, now is the perfect time to do so. So I can dive deep into your, your person of interest and see where they're at. And we can go a little bit deeper in your personal situation with your romantic interests. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I hope you all enjoyed today's reading. If you're interested in my latest tarot deck, Tarot Visions, you can order your version on my website or on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash Scorpio Moon Intuition. This is a 78 card divination deck with upright and reverse interpretations to help you improve your reading skills, but also enhance your intuition with clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, and more. Copies will be mailed in October 2022. This is a limited edition deck, so reserve yours while supplies last. Also, you can check out my latest book on how you can attract everything you desire using Law of Attraction. It is a manifestation challenge workbook using the 555 method. Check it out on Amazon or through my Etsy shop online. Also, if you're interested in journaling or writing down your dreams, I have a collection of notebooks to help you make plans, take notes, and so much more. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.